We chose this topic because um, I have a guinea pig and its name is Rat and uh, I like it a lot. The guinea pig is a mammal, is very closely related to rabbits and rats, and that is where it gets most of its traits from. They are from the same family. No, no, it doesn't have a food label. So here I have drawn a guinea pig diagram. In black you see his outer features, and in purple you see his inner features. You have his ears, very, very floppy, very soft, as is his fur. You have his eyes, his snoot, his mouth, whiskers, and feet. And on the inside, he has a brain, believe it or not. He has a heart, a stomach, and a digestive system. I have also listed foods that he does and does not like. He does like grass, he likes clovers, some leaves, and lettuce. He does not like car keys, acetaminophen, or AirPod Pros. Here's a yes to lettuce but no to harmful pills. When it comes to harmful pills, he's more of a Saturday night type of guy. Guinea pigs use their scent to mark territory so other guinea pigs do not take it from them. The calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium requirements of the guinea pig, like those of the rat, appear to reflect interactions among these elements. Guinea pigs, unlike most common belief, do not do photosynthesis. They are made of animal cells, not plant cells. What we have here is a clover flower. The guinea pig likes eating them. Oh, now we'll eat it. But Whoa. what you see here is it does not like the top. All it likes is the root of the clover. And the root of the clover is what it likes to eat because it, I guess it tastes better. And it's probably made of more, better chemicals. But he also likes grass. What the guinea pig does not eat. The guinea pig does not eat. The guinea pig does not eat my car keys. He runs away. He doesn't like them. The guinea pig does not eat chalk. See, it's not eating it. It's eating something else. All right, so the guinea pig gets mildly angry when you take it away from its food source. <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? This is the guinea pig's hat. This guinea pig has long fur because he is a Peruvian guinea pig. His, he started off very poor in Peru, and then one day he came to America with his family, very poor, and then he, he made it big in the wrapping industry, and then Bane picked him up, and that's been the story ever since. Find him in a box. In, in a, a box, box on the side of the wrapping street in New York. Compton. Um, so this guinea pig it was, uh, it was made in a lab in China. Um, we we uh, we got it shipped over. It, it costed like ten bucks, and um, definitely worth the money, not worth the wait. But um, it does sometimes speak on the communist Chinese regime. That is, that's kind of a manufacturer's 
It's like an error or something. Error, but it, it happens every once in a while. It gets spoiling on and on and on about, oh, communism, communism. It does that sometimes. Yeah, so if you look closely. That can be expected with most guinea pigs. You got these two buttons right here. One of them turns <laughs> into... um. Like Espanol, any other non-English language. And then the and other then, one turns into this a one, helicopter. This one, yeah, this one turns into a helicopter. But I'm not gonna do that because you can only do it once, and I'm saving it for his birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I got uh, you. yep. So chemistry, they made them in a lab. Uh, it's made like most mammals with the same chemicals that make them up. Same pretty digestive much. system. Same heart. Same. Some type of wheel, like a. Uh, it, it eats. It. So yeah, wrap it all up. Made in the lab. Um, kind of communist sometimes. Yeah. There it is. There we have it. He's in a box. He's in a box. And, and don't, don't forget to subscribe to Black Frost. <laughs>